Today, Marshawn and I are headed from Boise, Idaho to the Oregon coast. We have about a 10 hour drive ahead of us and after one hour on the road, we've already stopped for two here at the Mulher Butte Scenic Overlook. Marshawn has gotten to run freely for the past couple of hours. We haven't seen a single other person stop here in the time that we've been here. I'm not sketching Mulher Butte itself, but rather the farm ground that surrounds it. Mulher Butte is an inactive volcano and the term mulher means bad luck or misfortune in French. From the informational kiosk, I learned that between 20 to 15 million years ago, this area experienced a series of volcanic eruptions that covered thousands of square miles. Today, this part of the world is known for agriculture, and Mulher County leads the state in production of onions, sugar beets, and alfalfa hay. Cool. I'm sketching square hay bales right now. This goes on to say that although Mulher Butte is no longer an active volcano, Mulher County is still alive with geothermal energy in the form of hot springs. It says that just seven miles west of here, Oregon Trail emigrants would camp at the Mulher River crossing, taking advantage of the hot springs and the first good water source in present day Oregon. I wonder if the canals that I'm sketching are in any way connected to the Mulher River. So here is the sketch that I completed while I was here. And now it's time to get back on the road. Marshawn and I made it down to a stream. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to come down here, but here we are. Let's check this out. In John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. This is Picture Gorge. It's picturesque for sure. Let's see if I can park here and do a painting if I can find a good spot. Ooh, 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 right here? Can I park here? I kind of want to do a painting right here. I think I can. I think I can. I'm gonna. This spot was appealing to me because Marshawn and I have been on the road for five days at this point without much of a break, and we were seeing a lot of beautiful places through the windshield. It was also a little too hot to paint outdoors, so we opted for an afternoon in the van with the fans running. So here is where I am with the black and white sketch. Okay, I'm about to get started painting and um, a person gave me a cool tip. He said if I want to go, if I want to backtrack just like a quarter mile, I'll find some Indian petroglyphs um, if I walk down the pullout just a little bit. I've really been struggling with my greens, so I'm trying not to overwork those today. Everyone seems to be going over to the other side. I'm not sure like... There's something cool on the other side of the road. All right, this one needs to dry a little bit so those stains on the rock will really come through. But this is where I'm going to stop on this scene for today. So this is across the road. It was too hot today to sketch outside of the car. But seriously, this would have been a great sketching spot as well. This is where I am. Marshawn keeps trying to escape. She would like nothing more than to run down the road. I would like nothing more than to stay here and make one more sketch. But I want to explore those petroglyphs and drive down there. I don't know where the petroglyphs are. I don't think I'm going to find them either. Alright, I hiked down. I don't really see anything. This is... I don't know, there's something over there. Is it that? Did I find it? Ew. Why would you do that? Don't litter. Don't litter especially beside the national monuments. Why? 
The sun is setting, so that's all the sketching that we'll get in for today. Marshawn and I better find a place to camp. Tomorrow, we'll drive around 200 miles until we hit the Oregon coast, where we'll stay with friends and then sketch our way south into California. See you there.